Apparently, you can break a decorated pot with a bow and arrow. Yep, this is actually true, and it's really satisfying to watch. So here are 100 Minecraft 1.21 myths that I'm gonna bust. And if you do enjoy, remember to tap that sub button. So we know a bow and arrow can break a pot, but what about a crossbow? Yep, it is the exact same thing as a bow and arrow. Who would have guessed? Oh. Not me. Apparently, a set of fireworks can actually break a decorated pot from beneath. Let's try this out. Surprisingly, this one is actually true, and I never would have guessed this would have happened. But that begs the question, what about multiple pots in a row? Ooh. Okay, that was pretty epic. Let's do that again, but 10 times bigger. It's so satisfying to watch. Look at those fireworks go. Meow. Although I got the aim of a potato, so I can't hit these last pots. Come on, please. Everyone knows you can dispense armor onto yourself. But the question is, can we dispense wolf armor onto wolves? Unfortunately, you can't dispense wolf armor onto wolves. Oh, man. Can you put wolf armor on your friend's dog? Bruh. No, no, you can't. As much as I wanted to, pointing guy's dog could not have any armor. This is sad. Apparently, to remove dog armor, you actually have to use shears? This is true. Wow, I didn't know that. Apparently, the new Minecraft breeze can actually blow out candles. So let's try and put this to the test. It's actually true. All of these candles have been put out. If the breeze can hit candles, let's see if it can hit other things like levers. Wow, this is actually true. Thanks, Breeze, I'm going. Okay, so the Breeze can hit candles and levers. What about open doors normally? The Breeze can actually open doors. Let's go, Breeze. Woo. Can the Breeze hit bells as well? Of course they can. They can do anything at this point. They can rob a bank, do my laundry, or even go to the moon. But can they open iron doors? They actually can't. They can't open iron doors. Wow. Apparently, if you completely erase all of the Minecraft textures, the game will break when you try to load it. And the game is still running, but oh, oh no, the game looks, it looks very weird. Can a crossbow firework explosion break multiple pots at once? Sadly not. This would be really satisfying if they could. Mojang, if you're watching, please add this feature. Can a crossbow shot pierce through multiple pots at once? To a degree, yes, but it only went through two. Apparently, if you brush an armadillo, it'll actually drop scoot. And this one is actually true. Thanks, little guy. Ain't you gonna be taking your scoot from your body? Thank you. With this in mind, can you dispense a brush onto an armadillo to get scoot? And yeah, it actually does work. You can get scoot from dispensing a brush onto an armadillo. And with these two things in mind, can you set up an automatic armadillo scoot farm? Of course you can. Don't be so silly. Just like the ghast, apparently you can punch back the breeze's attack. This is actually true. Yeah, take that breeze. Apparently, Shulker's projectiles can actually break decorated pots. Nope, this one is false. Apparently, in creative mode, you can place any mob into a trial spawner. And yeah, it does actually work. You can actually start a trial with any mob. Uh-oh. Guys, uh, I think I've started something here. Guys, break it up. Break it up, you two. Oh, no, it's the villager trial. I'm doomed. Please don't take my money, sir. There's lots of things you can die in Minecraft, but can you die wolf armor? Unfortunately, you can't die wolf armor. That would be really, really cool, though, Mojang. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Can a wolf with armor now survive a creeper explosion? Yes, yes, they can. My little doggy is safe, yay. But what about a TNT explosion? I'm sorry, doggy, it didn't have to be this way. Oh, no, they can't. Well, R.I.P. Figglebottom, you'll be missed, buddy. Apparently, trial keys unlock trial spawners early. No, no, they don't. Apparently, you can breed armadillos with spider eye. Oh, you actually can. Look at the little baby armadillo. Look at him. What's he doing? What's he he's being silly? Do armadillos roll up when you sprint next to them? They actually do. Don't be scared, guys. I'm not going to hurt you. Or am I? If they roll up while I'm sprinting, will they roll up when I'm mounted on a camel? Yes, yes, they will. These guys are scared of everything. What about if I'm in a boat? Yep, they'll still roll up. It is a known fact that armadillos have a chronic fear of boats, so it makes sense. They'll also roll up if zombies or undead mobs are nearby, so that's good to know. Apparently, you can now put wolf armor on a baby wolf. Sadly, this doesn't work and you can't protect your little baby wolves. This is so sad. Apparently, in version 1.21, you can just turn off the yellow splash text. Okay, so if you go into accessibility settings and go to the bottom, it's actually right there. No, yellow text, where did you go? Apparently, in 1.21, the bat has a new model and texture. The bat actually does have a new texture and model, and I gotta say, I think it looks so much better. Now, after you beat a trial, supposedly the trial spawner has a cooldown of 30 minutes. So if we sit here and wait, it's true, you can do another trial after 30 minutes. Is it true that you can pick up trial spawners with silk touch? After mining for so long that it's nearly Christmas 2024, the trial spawner finally broke and it dropped nothing. This is so sad. Apparently, chests of loot can be found in the new trial chambers. Come on, give us some good loot. And it does actually have some really good loot, actually. I can 
finally pay my bills, yeah. Apparently, skeletons with poison-tipped arrows actually spawn in these trial chambers. After adventuring for a while, I actually did stumble upon a skeleton with a poison arrow, and ow, now I'm dying, this, this is not good. But yeah, this is actually true, and oh. the skeletons are actually holding onto the, the arrows, I don't know why. The brand new copper bulb apparently stays on after you give it a redstone signal. So it's currently on, but let's turn it off. And it does actually stay on. This is such a cool, unique feature. With all the new tough blocks, can tough be stone cut? Yes, yes, it can. We have so many more block choices that look so good. Can you make a crafter using a crafter to farm crafters? Yes, yes, you actually can. Is it true that you can now slow down time using commands in Minecraft? You can actually control time in Minecraft. This is actually sick. Woohoo, yeah, look at me go. Slow motion. I've slowed the game down even more. And I'm not even, I'm barely moving. I'm falling. You can actually move the camera faster than the player's head. So it just kind of looks like this. Now, apparently you can actually speed up Minecraft using commands. And yep, this villager is going a lot faster than he should be on that minecart. You're breaking the speed limit, buddy. Bruh. Look at all of the mobs move when the world is sped up. This is this is kind of bizarre. The minecart is moving so fast that it's not even on the tracks. Apparently, you can actually freeze time in Minecraft now. Oh my goodness, this is a sight to see. It's kind of like I'm in the Matrix now. By using the control of time, can you take on 10 wardens? Nope, you most definitely can't. What, what was I thinking? Apparently, if you use the seed trial chamber, you'll actually spawn right next to one. And it doesn't seem like there's a trial chamber anywhere inside. Apparently now in 1.21, shields have a new third person animation. I was not expecting this to work, but there actually is a new animation where you look, the shield will kind of follow you in this brand new way. I'm getting really distracted, but this is very fun to mess around with. Can you get an armadillo in a boat? Yes, you can. Let's go armadillo, me and you on an adventure. Now, does the same thing work for a breeze? Yes, it does. The breeze is now trapped and can't jump or do anything. He's, he's stuck in a boat. What I did find out in this testing is the breezes can actually push themselves back on a boat which should be a myth in itself. Do armadillos drop skewed on death? Let's find out. I'm so sorry, buddy. No, it doesn't seem like they drop skewed on death. Armadillos drop nothing, but do breeze drop snow on death? No, unfortunately, this isn't true either. None of them have drops. Does the trial spawner have a cool turn on animation when it's activated? It actually does. All of those together look so satisfying. Apparently, trial chambers always spawn 1,000 blocks away from spawn. Now, if we try and locate a trial chamber and see where it spawns, it actually spawns really close to spawn. These trial chambers are actually very, very common. Does the trial spawners have custom sounds? They actually do have brand new sounds and they sound pretty cool. We're gonna see if two breezes will actually go ahead and fight each other. And after testing this for a while, it's confirmed that breezes, they don't attack each other. It's false. Just for the memes, if you name an armadillo Jeb underscore, will it go rainbow just like the sheep does? Let's give it a try. What? This doesn't work? What about the breeze? I mean, it has to work on the breeze, right? What? It doesn't work on the breeze? Can you put an armor trim on dog armor? This is the real question. Nope, sadly it doesn't work, but it it would be really cool. Can the armadillo actually roll up when it's in a boat? It doesn't seem to be rolling up, so I think this is false. Apparently, the armadillo shell deflect arrows? Nope, it just simply hits the armadillo and the armadillo's dead. But what about breeze? The breeze deflect arrows? Yes, they actually do. Arrows bounce off breezes and head in a random direction. Now, can arrows deflect off the breeze and then hit me as the player? I did test this for a long time and arrows did hit me, but I took no damage, so I don't think this is actually true. Can mobs see and detect you through copper grids? It doesn't seem to be working, so no, I don't think mobs can see you through copper grids. Apparently, armadillos can actually breathe underwater. No, this is just stupidly false. They, they can't. Because armadillos live in the heat, are they actually fire resistant? No, no, they're not. Does the trial key open copper doors? I mean, technically, yes, but it's not because of the trial key. It's just because you can open the copper door with your hands up. So, uh, so we know about arrows and fireworks breaking decorative pots, but what about an egg? It actually works. You can also break decorative pots with eggs. So we know an egg smashes a pot, but what about a snowball? Yep, it's true. A snowball also smashes a decorative pot. Apparently, trial spawners are actually explosive proof. So let's put this to the test. And yeah, this one is true. Trial spawners are explosive proof. Apparently, you actually get some rewards after defeating a trial spawner. So if we kill all of these husks, and after we kill all of the mobs, the trial spawner should open up. And there we go. It's true. We've got ourselves one trial key. Can the trial spawner still spawn mobs when there are lords and lords of light? This is actually true. Unlike the normal spawner, the trial spawner can spawn mobs when there's lots of light. Apparently, the breeze can actually leap from cobweb. 
Yeah, no, the breeze definitely can't leap when it's stacking cobweb. This one is false. Apparently, you can put a full stack of items into one decorative pot. So if we keep clicking and... Yeah, you can actually fit a full stack of items in a decorative pot. Now, I really want to know if a hopper can take items from a decorative pot. This is so cool. A hopper can take any item from a decorative pot and put it in any container. Apparently, Mo Yang has renamed Scoot to Turtle Scoot and Armadillo Scoot. Wow, this is actually true. They've separated the two. Can an armadillo roll up when it's actually tied to a lead? Unfortunately, no. As soon as you tie the armadillo, they get back up on their feet. Can mobs suffocate in the brand new copper grit block? No, they don't actually suffocate in copper grits. You think they would since this meta literally tangled around their face. Can you craft the brand new copper door with cut copper? No, unfortunately you can't. Does the beacon beam go through the brand new copper grate? And yeah, it actually does. You could definitely use this for a cool base design. Can you actually craft the brand new tough bricks? Yeah, you can, but you actually need polished tough to do so. Apparently they've now added a teleport sound when you throw an ender pill. It actually does make a sound, but now it sounds like that I'm part Enderman. Apparently now there's an in-game command where you can delay going in and out of the nether. Let's just set this really high and yeah, we're never leaving the nether. I'm trapped here forever. It sounds very stupid, but can you put dog armor on a horse? Let's just try for the memes. Wait, what? You can't do this? Surely you can do this on a camel. What? You, ca you can't do it on a camel either? Apparently, portion-tipped arrows actually retain their status when shot into a block. Yeah, this is actually true. When I pick them up, they still have their portion effects on them. Apparently, when you place a block on a pot, it'll make dust come out of it. But actually, this is just me placing the block in the pot the same time the block is placed. So, kind of, I guess? Apparently, if you drink a portion of luck before finishing, Finishing a trial spawner challenge, you'll get better loot. Now, after doing this a few times, this is not true. You get the same normal loot, even if you have the luck status effect. Can you squeeze an armadillo in a bundle? Nope, the little guy just won't go in. Can the breeze breathe underwater? Nope, the poor breeze is drowning. They, they definitely can't. Apparently, the trial chambers can actually have a lush variant when spawned in a lush cave. This is actually true, and just look how pretty it looks. Wow, so much green everywhere. Ooh. Apparently, trees naturally spawn in trial chambers. This was so random, I thought it'd be false, but this is actually real. You could start off your game in a trial chamber. Would be a pretty cool challenge. Apparently, there are secret rooms hidden in trial chambers with nice loot and a random bed. This is actually true. Hidden behind grates and lamps, there are secret rooms that spawn with nice loot and a nice place to sleep. Does good loot spawn in the trial chambers? Yes. This includes a golden notch apple. Apparently, traps naturally spawn in the trial chambers, and this is true, and some of them can shoot you with some nasty stuff. Do gold blocks spawn in trial chambers? After looking, 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 there are no gold blocks. Gold blocks do not spawn in trial chambers at the moment. What about emerald blocks? Emerald blocks actually do. And so do diamond blocks, which is actually really awesome. Can you put two different items in one decorative pot? Sadly, no you can't. It has to be the same single item. Can pistons actually smash pots? Yeah, yeah they can. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to tap that sue button and let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next.